Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I cannot believe my luck right here. I'm right behind my diamond, and there's gold right behind it. Lucky me. This is actually something I do need more of anyhow. And this happened to be a pretty decent amount of gold. That's that's pretty cool. Along with some free iron. Ain't that, ain't that grand? Um, yeah, so I am here. I'm going to be... Pretty much opening up a space about three wide. So one, two, and three. And for now, I've opened this one all the way up to where this is. So I may have kind of an, an entryway kind of sort of thing right here. So, but I gotta, I gotta make the space for it anyhow. So what I'm doing, three wide in every direction. And then from there, I'm gonna see what I could do with this. We got some new people on board. We got somebody named Stock Gaming and Sharp Rose. They're both on currently right now. We also have a, how does his name go? Chimera Creations, I believe it is, or Creation Chimera, one of those two. And we also have a Kalulu, if I can ever pronounce his name correctly. Kalulu Craft, yes, basically Kalulu is on board. Yeah, so we will be seeing these guys in the very near future. Some of them have already started building, which is like really amazing. Some of the stuff they're, they've got in mind and in design. I've got one of them as my neighbor, and I believe it's Chimera, who is my neighbor. And I'm going to go visit him very shortly as well. Uh, whether I get it in this episode, not sure. But yes, so let me go ahead and dig out some space. Be right back. Okay, friends, this is now cleared out. I got it three wide. Basically, this hole, the first hole you see here is three. Everything after that is basically four. So I, I dug out four wide just because I want to be able to have a, a wall, put up a wall here going around this entire thing. And I also need to change out the floor. So that's why I kind of designated where the, where the next step down is going to go. And it's currently, what is it, one high here? So I could always go down two. And I'm not sure. If I go down two, it might be a little low versus it being just kind of floating there, kind of like it is right now. And we will see how I can make that work. I may end up having to go out a little bit more because if I do something like kind of like a floating pedestal type of thing, then I will have to go out a little bit more. So let me go ahead and grab my ender chest, which has hopefully what I'm looking for, which should be this box in here, which should hopefully have stairs. I do have stone brick stairs. Excellent. So let me see if I can even make the attempt to make this float. That would be kind of a cool nifty effect if I could do that. So going to be tricky. And I hope I don't break any blocks in the process of doing so. So, oh God, stairs, you're stuck under there. Come on out. There we go. So, okay, good. All right, guys, I've opted for a glow kind of like this where you can actually see the um, light pouring through. Although the wool, I don't think works well down there. So I might want to try to find another substance I could put down there that just help the light glow better, but I do like having the glow and it should give a little radiance, especially when the torches are out. Let me let me get rid of these torches again and see what it looks like here. Yeah, so you can see the radiance kind of powering out of there and it's not a whole lot of light, which is what I want to have. I wanted to have like a little bit of light just pouring out of there, but I also want to be able to have something down in the center. So I gotta, I gotta work that out because this here will be like too much light right there. And if I put them all dead center, that would also be too much light too. So let's, let's fiddle around this with this light idea. And yes, we're making a shrine. If it hadn't been obvious, we're making a shrine to the diamonds. Yes, that's what we're doing. Oh my God, guys! I just realized today. To find this diamond, I completely went a different direction. I completely thought I turned 180 degrees and it turned out I turned 90 degrees. That is just like trippy. I totally thought I was going the wrong, oh my God, that's just like, how did this happen to me? I know, I walked out and I ran into Exonerated base. So Exonerated has this big giant deep, deep gash in the earth, so to speak. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I like this. That's a lot better. I think I'm going to keep it like that. Yes, yeah, so we had a big giant gash in the earth, so I'm like, oh my. So, yeah, now I, I don't know. Should I make the ground th all the same with the stone bricks? Possibly. Possibly. I have some ideas about the corners, but I'm not sure if it's feasible. It's something that I saw in BMS's base that I showed you in the other episode, so it would be cool to see what happened. <laughs> Alright, let, let's this I don't need. I already know that. This is just another one of those upside down stairs. So, <laughs> let's see what I come up with. Guys, I just died. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I blew up BMS's thing. I totally blew it up. I don't know how bad it is, but... 
my stuff should be there. <laughs> I was just trying to see how it works. That's all I wanted to do, BMS. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, fortunately, it shouldn't be too far. I don't know where the heck that creeper came from, honestly. I don't know where that creeper came from. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to reclaim my stuff. And, well, it's going to be a bit of a walk. This is going to suck because I'm going to have to walk there. It's over here. Oh my god, guys, I made a horrible mess. This is, like, just horrid. There's water everywhere. His base is, like, decimated. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm fixing this, guys. I honestly don't know how I'm going to fix this. But my stuff and his stuff is pretty much everywhere. I don't even know if I have everything that I came in with. Jeez. But the machine's still working. Oh boy. Sorry, BMS. This is not what I intended. Not at all. You need more light in your base, buddy. Just a bit more light in your base. Uh, okay. Well, let's assess the damage, folks. That's where the problem is. And I'm down here. Okay. Now, after destroying BMS's base, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Uh, I've already messaged BMS. Hopefully he will see it and figure out what I could do to help him fix that. Uh, yeah. Sorry, BMS. I'm so sorry. Anyhow, I've taken Dark Oak on another subject to try to detract of what I've done to BMS's base. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so I've taken his base. By the way, that bulb on the top bonds creepers. That's all I gotta say and they drop right in on you. So yeah, I've taken dark oak and I lined the bottom with dark oak. I was thinking about doing an upside down stair thing kind of like this, but I'm not sure if I like that yet. So right for, for the time being, I've done just planks on the bottom, followed by upside down stairs on top, followed by I'm not sure what next on top of that. And I could always do kind of like a row of just slabs. And that would be an interesting way to make like a plank-ish thing right here and then maybe right on top of that I could do the staircase again but what I could also do is do a row of lights as well uh, I will need to get up here somehow so yeah we'll need to make a staircase just for me to do this so yeah I could do a row of lights right in here let's see what that even looks like so let's get our lamps stick it right in here oh that's kind of cool so I can have a dual light set up that could work, and then right above the light, I could do a set of stairs again, and that will cap off, at least the stairs should, there should be a set of stairs at the very top. At the very least, there should be a set of stairs right up here. Now, what goes in here is a real question, right? I wonder, what if I did this? What if I took this out and put in either a plank or a slab right in here? I don't know. Alright, I put in some moss stone. I don't know if I like the moss stone versus having the, the mossy stone brick thing. And the moss stone does give it a little bit of an interesting vibe. And I gotta agree with that. But I don't know if I like it. It just seems a little too, ugh, like too much, right? But I should still have some vines. I do. So let me try some stone brick. Where are you stone bricks? There we are. We've got a few stone bricks to work with. And I've got a few vines to also work with. So let's try to combine these. I get some mossy stone bricks and try out the mossy stone bricks instead of the mossy cobble. Now I'm willing to bet that it may play out just that much better. I think that could work a little bit better to what I'm thinking of here. Alright friend, this isn't a bad look. I think I may go with this and do this on all four sides and I'll have to see about that. And then right over here, I've got a plan for right over here. Ow. I got a plan for right over here, and we'll have to play that out later on as we go. But for the time being, this will work, and I should be able to wrap it around for the most part pretty well around all the sides. And I like how the light glows down here. I like how the light glows up in here. I'm going to cover that up a little bit more. And what I could always do is maybe consider dropping it down a level versus where it's at currently. Because I don't know if I like to be able to see the light when I come up on it. What I am going to do is I am going to cap it off with some color and I'm not sure what color I want to cap it off but realistically I don't even have to color cap it off with any kind of color because 
Shoot, I can even have a light right up there too and push it back up a couple and then maybe, yeah, then maybe cap it off. So let's see what happens if I bury this light just by a couple blocks. Let's see where that goes. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. Okay, I got this, I changed this up a little bit right here. And instead of having the light being super visible like that, it's actually much more buried and much more subdued. So I can definitely cap this off with the color. I could always try the black color that I had earlier, at least for this here. And see how that plays out. Uh, do I already have it available? I do. Here's the black. And let's try the black real quick. I also have light gray to also give a spin. But I think the black may do it just that much better. Yeah, the black's so much better because then it, it hides it very well. So let's see what happens if I do the same thing right in here and go up. I can't reach that block. I can't even reach that block right there. Okay, light gray. There you go. And let's see if I can hit this one. Perfect. So now light and then black. Yeah, that would do pretty well. I could have a light right up in the corner like that. That's pretty cool. But first, I didn't see this, of course. Oh, God, there's water like right there. There's water right above that light. That's awesome. All right, friend. So this wall is actually looking really nice. I like how it turned out so far. And this is, by the way, going to be an entryway. I have planned for the entryway. The, don't worry about this mess that's back here. But the rest of it's getting there. I have to work out the ceiling. I have to work out the floor. I might change these into something else. We'll see. Maybe, maybe even some dark oak might work better there than what currently here. Anyhow, I'm going to finish up this last wall, but with the water behind it, I kind of want to try to use the water for something fun. So we'll see if I can make that work or not. Uh, for the time being, I will be back shortly and stay tuned. Hey guys, so I found a cave system. It's right above, right, actually right above this here. This is some, somehow I, I climbed up. I climbed up the water tower and as you can see, there is a really nice Fairly extensive cave system with some mobs. Yay for me. There was actually a creeper sitting right on top of the water too. And so I had to kind of get rid of him. So, and what's cool is there's some extra gold here too. And this is actually a cave system that have not really been explored yet. So lucky me. Uh, part of it has over on the other side, just, just not this side. So let's go take a quick gander around and see what's out there. Okay, this side's empty, so that's good news. But no, this is actually really cool. And the water effect, by the way, you'll you'll see it when I get back. The water effect is like super cool. Okay, see this is this is extra nice. Oh my god, my mouth didn't want to work today. Why not? I don't know. I feel like this needs just like that much more much more light, you know? Yeah, I couldn't ask for better. I got redstone, I got gold, I got pretty much everything I need right now. Now I just have to get to it. Won't that be fun? Figuring out how to get to this stuff. Oh my god, another creeper! Oh my god, no, 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 no! Don't blow up! Don't blow up! <laughs> that was scary. Okay, that was scary. There's another cave right above my head. Lucky me. Okay, well, I didn't think I was going to go this way, but sure. Oh my god, this place is infested with creepers. Okay guys, that one's actually a natural born waterfall if you think about it because of where the caves are right out there. And now I'm thinking maybe I should do this on all sides. I don't know what would happen if I pop this side out. Yeah, the water will try to go that way other ways. So I guess I guess I can make that work. Oh no, it won't. It won't. So maybe what I could do is do something fairly similar and just push the water back a little ways. And I'll need to make a pool here where I can gather some water somehow versus the water that's up there. So uh where can I get some water? <laughs> right, right. Uh I think I could probably gather it from there, but let me let me see what I could do. Yeah, that looks good. That actually looks really good. And I put a bunch of um, mozzi cobble all around in there. And I'm going to now replicate this in all four corners. And I think we got this made. I would love to have like a reflecting pool here. But I think I might have a way around that. For example, that's how I could do it. Ooh, no, I want my bucket. Give me my bucket back. 
Yeah, so I could definitely get away with this. A really cool reflecting pool like right in there. And I almost want to take these out and lower them and do the same thing. Just kind of going around the edge here with a reflecting pool. So yeah, let me see what I can do. And I have yet to do the ceiling. So give me a second. We're going to replicate the corners. Okay, friends, I think it's looking really good. I got a pool of water down here. I got pools of water going there. I got some some oak leaves, actually. And that's what's going around the bottom. And I also got some oak leaves up top. And I think the building itself is pretty much done. The only thing I've yet to do is the entryway. And that actually won't be too hard. I just have to kind of take the style and move it out this way a little ways. How far out this way I want to go, I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to do that. Uh, first, I'm going to see how much time I have left. And... Give me a sec. Okay, friends, I think we're about done. Well, almost, almost. I still gotta do the front door. As you can see, it's going to be a portal. Yes, the thing ends at a portal. Uh, and I also have to finish up the roof. And I'm thinking the roof could just be all moss stone going across the top. And of course, moss stone seems to be kind of hard to find. Not really, because I have enough stone brick to cover it all, realistically. That should be way more than enough. And that's the last of my vines. Yes, I did steal some vines from Leek, in case you really want to know where these vines came from. Yeah, I think this will do it just fine. This will do it just fine. That will look real good. And then, oh, actually, the portal goes there. Okay, that's better. Then there's going to be a portal sitting right here. And then the other side of this, it's going to have to go away. I'm going to have to, like, seal this off somehow. And what I could do is I could just take my last two... Honestly, like my last two pieces right here could just seal this entrance that way off. At least once the portal works. And I've already recorded the coordinates for this. I gotta go to the nether, find out what's in the same spot. And then I've also got to figure out... Actually, I actually have to put stuff away. Then I also have to figure out um, where what's above me too. Because I want to build a building right above this portal and have a portal in it. And call it Koi's Diamond Shrine so people can kind of come see and check it out and stuff. So we'll see. And that's the part I'm going to have to do in another episode. Um, as for today, I'm going to call it quits. And if you like this episode, the way it looks and everything, the way it's awesomeness, ignore the chocolate boxes, they will all go away. But definitely leave me a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. And next time I think I'll talk about the new folks that have joined the server. Yay! And that's when I build the building hopefully up top and... Go off and get the rest of the nether stuff going. And we'll see you. Okay, bye guys. Good news, folks. No one has built here. So this is where we will be building that really nifty thing. I am just going to stick some stone bricks here just so that way I know roughly, roughly where I want to be. This should be ideally right above the portal. Hopefully when I get them installed. And the idea will be to kind of enter here and... Just kind of go down the portal and have some fun with it. Anyhow, I'm calling it quits. Bye, guys. Nighttime's here. Gotta go.